yeah. I worry about men who are taking advantage of the loopholes. Like, okay, if you're trans, that's fine. It, uh, it yeah. doesn't matter. But what's the stipulation? Like, I even went to other meetings after this to the school board mm-hmm. trying to ask them, yeah. like, how how does one become qualified, especially when it's a male student saying that they are now female student, because that's where the, the danger lies in more, in my opinion. Hey, everyone. Oh, my gosh. I caught a really awesome person today. I'm like really excited to have this conversation. So before I do that, you know, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching these interviews. Thank you for helping me raise the trajectory of them. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, you know, getting these to people who need to see them. This is how we're building bridges. When you see this conversation, you're just going to be blown away. And I already know it's going to be amazing. So so with that, um, I have this amazing human named Yanni. And Yanni reached out to me after I did this really amazing video about I don't know if y'all remember the video I did with the boy who beat up the girl in the school, but it was a trans girl <laughs> and it was really a boy, but everybody was trying to make it up like a trans girl. But anyway, Yanni got up in front of the school board, I think it was. And then um, anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit about that because I'm so excited. But Yanni, thank you for for really um, coming onto the platform and, um, and, and joining me today for this very important conversation. And if you want to just tell people like who you are a little bit and then we can move on. Yeah, thank you, uh, Buck, and uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for all the work you do. It's very important in spreading the word and helping people because that's what you're doing. You're helping people. Thank you're you. helping all types of people. So seriously, from the heart, respect it. And I'm actually, this might surprise you, but I'm not a father yet. Um, oh, me and my okay. wife, we've been working on it, but uh, we don't have children yet. I just, I care. I care about the community. Um I'm a local business owner. We have a restaurant in Lansdale, the coffee corner. And um, I, I I was in school board meetings before, too, in the past, like during the COVID stuff. Uh, this this particular school board, they're very politically driven. They, in my opinion, and many others, they feel that uh, the school board will push policies from a political agenda, even if they lack common sense or without actual thought, just to check a box or just to basically virtue signal. And it it upset me. And I, I noticed a lot of parents were there and people that were upset. And I didn't, I didn't even want to speak. I'm going to tell you the truth. Uh, I was there just for support. Somebody reached out to me, let me know about the story because I used to go to the school board. So I went, I went to be another, you know, round of applause and, uh, another guy in the seats to support the parents but after all the people went up and no one just told the truth like no one brought it up everyone kind of beat around the bush and danced around it um i just had to say it and you know i I feel that i didn't um attack anybody specifically except maybe the board but that's because they're neglecting to do what they're supposed to do um I really don't have a problem with any type of community. I don't care. Like, you know, we all adults, man. Do what you do. <laughs> God right bless on. you, like I said. And if, if if you can respect I'm straight, I can respect your trans. I can respect your gay. I can res- respect whatever, yeah. too. I mean, there's no big deal to me. But these school board people are trying to, like, shove it down everybody's throat. And they're, they're trying, in my opinion, they're just not being honest people. And... Yeah. I, I had to speak up for those who couldn't speak, you know, like they can't fire me. They can't hurt me. They can't scare me. So I did what I had to do. Yeah. That's a very powerful position to be in. I feel the same as a transsexual person. The community can't cancel me and the community can't come after me and they can't take my, cause I'm an, I'm an elder. I'm 32 years. I live like this. So I have a, you know, pretty solid foundation so I can relate to you. And the fact though, I have to say, man, It takes a lot of guts to get up there and say what you said. So it really says a lot to me. When I connected, when I saw the video of you, I was like, this dude is amazing. (laughs) Like you were amazing. You just, you said everything I would have said, to be honest with you. And I think I saw all, I heard all the parents clapping for you. And I heard, and you know, everybody, when I edit this, I'm going to put the video here in case people didn't get a chance to see it. A big thing at the end of the day, whether this child who was the attacker has issues or not. A lot of it comes from your policy, your leadership, and what you 
do or do not accept. Yeah. I remember at one point you were very focused on everyone has to wear a mask. But you let all these major things go. You let sexual assaults go. You let violence go. And another thing, this was a teenage boy who beat on a little girl. All right? Call it what it is. I don't care. Don't look at me like that, Mr. Fusco. You're a father. What if that was your daughter? What if that was your daughter? And I'm sorry. I didn't want to be here. I'm here because people reach out to me. I'm here because apparently too many people are afraid to just say that. Men and women are different, all right? Whatever you want to do as an adult, God bless you, that's fine. You have that right. But let kids be kids. Let them make that decision later in life when it's appropriate. All right? Men and women are not the same. Our hormones are not the same. Our strength is not the same. Our aggression is not the same. How come, how, co how come none of the articles said that it was a boy attacking a girl? How come half the people here kept switching between he and she? Oh and again, I have nothing against any type of community, but what's right is right and what's fair is fair, and that's not cool. And if this kid was protected simply because they were trans and not because of any other reason, that's not cool. They have a violent past. This is oh, okay. extremely, you are very well spoken. You you were a little bit heated, but no doubt yeah. it, you needed to be heated because it yeah. got the message across. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And from my experience too, like, you know, the school board, they'll get all weird if you get a little loud with them or aggressive, but at the same time, they'll just ignore you. And yeah. I was doing my best to control my anger, but, you know, like I said, aggression is different. My aggression level, you know, tends to be higher when it's a serious matter like that. And, you know, I was brought up men, a man's main job, you protect women, you protect children, you know, you don't right. go out your way to hurt nobody, but if somebody comes your way, you're right there. You know what I mean? That's right. And that's how I, I, I strongly believe that I'm old fashioned that way. And, Again, respect to you because what you're doing too is, in my opinion, the harder thing to do, especially for being in the trans community. It'd be so much easier for you to just, you know, ride the rainbow wave and, you know, say whatever <laughs> they want you to say and all that stuff. And again, yeah. I'm not like talking shit. I'm just saying like- No, you're not. You know, <laughs> I'm just being real. I like to tell the truth. It's easier that way, in my opinion. That's right. And, I, I think everybody could get along. Every, I even had one um, shout out to a, a new friend of mine. Her name's Lanny and she's uh, a lesbian. She reached mm -hmm. out to me after that uh, video, not your, uh, your video per se, but she, cause yeah. her sister's in the North Penn school. And yeah. um, she, she said the same thing you said is like, yeah, you know, saying thank you. And I, I couldn't have said it any better myself. And thank you for sticking right. up for the kids. I got a sister in the district. Yeah. And that, that's what it comes down to Buck Lake. Yeah. I worry about men who are taking advantage of the loopholes. Like, okay, if you're trans, that's fine. It, uh, it yeah. doesn't matter. But what's the stipulation? Like, I even went to other meetings after this to the school board mm -hmm. trying to ask them, yeah. like, how, how does one become qualified? Especially when it's a male student saying that they are now female student, because that's where the, the danger lies in more, in my opinion. Yes, totally. You're right. But so you're... Everything you say, for some reason now, you could say you're trans. You could literally say, yeah. <laughs> you could literally say you're a woman <laughs> and go into yeah. the women's restroom. Uh, uh, I'm blown away, my friend. As you see, I make a huge effort to look like a no, man. No one, no one knows. You know, like, it, yeah, I, I'm going to, because I, I was thinking about it when I talked to you, because like, I didn't want to uh, accidentally piss you off or something, but like, in yeah. my mind, I want to just be like, bro and dude, because to me, like you put in the work, it can't right be on. easy to do what you did. I no. saw your pictures when you were younger, shredded yep. as hell. Good job, bro. That's, that's <laughs> not easy. So like, I respect it. Seriously, I respect right it. On. And I, I think um, conversations like this are, are really good too, because yeah. it's going to help people realize like, yo, you're human. I'm human. We all human. And okay. Right. If people make certain choices in their life and they want to put in the work like you did, like yeah. others do, 
hey man, I got nothing against it. I'm I'm not gonna ever be the type of guy to be out there and I see a trans woman who's actually mm-hmm. like, you know, converted into a woman and not bothering. I'm not gonna start yelling obscenities and doing stupid right. shit. Like, that's not me and that's not right. And if anything, I would have that trans woman's back in that situation because if if you got a bunch of random guys trying to pick on people for no reason that ain't bothering mm-hmm. you or you know, like gay bashing and stupid shit like that, I would be there defending them too. Like I spoke to a trans child at uh, North Penn. And I said, hey, if people bully you, you come to my restaurant, you reach out to me and I'll be right there with you. I will, because what's fair is fair. I'm just trying to go off of fairness. That was obvious what you were saying. First off, I appreciate everything you just said. And I think when people see this, they're going to see. That's called building bridges. People would assume, oh, because it, this community that, that I belong to, I don't belong to it. Because I want to belong to the world with you, buddy. I want you to call me bro. I want you to call me dude. I want to come to your coffee shop or whatever it is and hang out and have a coffee. And I guarantee you, me and you would be friends if we stayed, if we were oh, in the same yeah. neighborhood. Totally. And <clears throat> this is what I want the world to see. All the illusional nonsense that they're kind of putting out there that you hate us or that everyone's trying to kill us or it's not true. Oh, no. It is not oh, true. Can I, yeah. Can I tell you a little side story with a uh, yeah. school board? What happened yeah. a few, I think it was like six or seven months ago. I could be wrong. Uh, but within the year, definitely mm. there's um, Somebody who, and I'm not sure if they're trans, like I know they're a drag queen, they do drag shows and stuff. I got nothing against this person personally either. Yeah. Um, but the the school board, the mayor of my area, Lansdale, and some other Democrat politicians like all kind of gravitate towards this guy. And he goes mm-hmm. by the stage name, Andy, Andy Christ. Okay. Um, so I, I think he kind of like intentionally tries to piss people off for with the name, you know what I mean? Uh, totally. Long story short, there was a position opened in in uh, North Penn for like a something with a IT work, and he just had um, gotten done his schooling for it and certificate. There was other applicants in the job who had years experience, like on on in schools already working, uh, and the board picked him. And oh, hey, if he's the best for the job, cool. Cool. Like if he is the most qualified, it's great. Yeah. But if if not, and it, and you just pick them because he fits an agenda that you're pushing, I don't think personally that's that's fair. I didn't go to that meeting, but they did hold a meeting, and the school board brings in all these people. They brought in like the mayor of Lansdale came in to bash on all these transphobic and homophobic people. There was nobody at this meeting. There was like a couple of random parents trying to talk about their special needs children. And then um, one, one or two people that brought up that it wasn't fair how they hired uh, the guy off of, you know, they believed it was for an agenda and when other people had more experience and lost the job. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And his crowd of people were like screaming obscenities, cursing at him. But they're all sitting there saying how the whole areas full of homophobic people that we have to fight on. and there was nobody there like that like they put on this big dramatic show you know what i mean and it's like why man like no one can like i don't care if you want to go and put on a dress and dance around there like in a bar with grown people That's a, like if i don't like it i just don't go Is that that's something? right yeah. but wow. it's like you can't say i feel like people can't say things like common no. sense things, you know what I mean? That's like, okay, right. well, this guy has 10 years, a clean record, but this wow. guy just graduated. So maybe the guy with 10 years, has, you know, is a better candidate. Yeah. If I say I'm yeah. homophobic now or I'm transphobic now, like, no, I'm not. Like, uh, dude, you know what I, mean? I would, I mean, it's the <laughs> same. <clears throat> no, it's so obvious what's going on. That That's how they're doing it. They're calling, they're calling me transphobic. <laughs> That's how you can tell it's all yeah. BS, dude. But but weird. how dare they? The, what are those called? There's something. They're called something higher. Like they had to hire a gay drag queen tranny person because it fills a quota of yeah. what, the guy can't even look, computer program. But does that matter? No. It's so insane. We have got this I country, know. dude. I love. I love this country. I lived in many places. You know. I don't know what's happening here, but it is actually not okay. And it's not okay for the LGBT community. 
to have people like this represent us because it throws us back mm-hmm. because people start not to like us because of this kinds of stuff, if, the, if that makes sense. No, it does. And, you know, like from yeah. my perspective, um, what what these crazy people would consider a white devil because I'm straight and I'm white and I'm not afraid <laughs> to say something. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, in my opinion, like I feel like people who, who were not, maybe transphobic or homophobic or yes. anything like that may start to unfortunately turn into that only That's because right. it's being forced upon them That's when right. like normally they just wouldn't care. And That's it's right. like, it's almost like their policies and the, the politicians pushing it are creating a, such a way to where it's like, okay, they're causing this damage in your community while trying yeah. to pretend to promote your community. And then at the, on the other hand, they're just, pissing people who never really you know worried about it off to thinking like oh my god now like you know this is gonna happen and then they start thinking bad thoughts and it's not cool and it's not right like that that's why i wanted to to speak with you of all people when i saw uh your your video because i feel like you are the best voice the strongest voice for this and i feel that like like you said what? How can they actually call you transphobic? You're trans. <laughs> how can they, they say you're homophobic? How can they? How can they say you're bigoted? They can't. They but can't. They, they'll try, but like it doesn't make <laughs> sense. So it just gives you more power, and as it should. And I, I, I hope you get a million subscribers. I subscribe right to you. I check out your videos. And Thank you. Like, no, it's cause seriously. Like, it, it's sad too. Like, because it's a money grab. Yeah. And like I saw yeah. some of your videos talking about that with the pharma. It is. It is. It is. It's the truth. And yep. You know, yep. people said to me on like social media saying stupid shit like, oh, well, I hope your kid turns out gay or whatever. And blo-. yo, <laughs> I- I'm here to tell the world. I don't give a shit what my kid turns out to be. I'm going to love my kid. That's You're it. You're awesome. It's that simple. You're so awesome. My kid's gay. My kid's gay. Do, do right. I want that in my heart? I would like if I had a son to get married, have a wife and kids. Yeah. And traditional, yeah. but that's just me. I'm not saying anything's wrong with the other way. That's right. But like, I'm going to love my kids either way, either way. I don't care. You know, whether you come off like that, I have in my head, like, that's right. You come off like that. But I'll I'll even tell you, if I had, I have a kid, I'm an 11 year old. I mean, if he came home one day and said, I feel like a girl, I'd have his ass straight into therapy (laughs) because the last thing I mean, and it's not that I don't want him to be trans. It's that it's not a nice life and it's not easy. And it's not something that anyone should want to be. It's something that you all, I didn't transition till the age of 30. I'm 62 now. But that being said, it's, this is an adult space, my friend. There's no such thing really? as trans kids. That's why that school board meeting and what you said was so powerful because I don't know what they're doing to these kids, man. I don't know why they're pushing these kids into these weird trans kid. This kid is a, a boy. And, yeah. and I think you said, you said something that was so incredibly powerful. You said, Men, <laughs> boys are stronger than girls, or men are stronger than women. And that's when you, I could see your oh, yeah. passion. I, I, I consider it passion. You became very, you. and I could see, you can just see it in him. A, a woman would not necessarily have that same sort of like, energy. You made a it's point. Like an explosion inside. It's like that aggression. And that's like right. I said, I was holding myself back too because I, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to, you know, freak out and throw something or curse them out and like take (laughs) away from the children and like the actual, you know, what we have to work on here. Cause it's not about me. I don't care about me. I care about them and that's why I'm doing it. That's right. And yeah, I got so many people that tell me all the time, like, you know, thank you for speaking. Even even teachers that work in the district, they come to my restaurant and they tell the waitresses to let me know. Thank you. Because I can't say it because I'll get fired. And (sighs) That's why I do it because nobody should have to go through that. Like, okay, yeah. I understand if you're, if it's a situation where you're harassing somebody or like being really yeah. hateful on purpose, that's different. Yeah. Like, but I feel like community as a whole kind of put people in check that way. Like if, if there's a, an asshole like that and there's people around back in my day, most of us would just and say, shut the fuck up. Like that's you're right. being an ignorant asshole. You know what that's I mean? Right. And then they shut yep. up because they see everybody's like, yo, I'm not down for that. Yeah. But now it's like they're trying. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're trying to mess with children's minds. They're trying. And even with the book thing, right? Is that, did, yeah. you, did you see about the, the books? So <laughs> as leaders, right, as leaders, 
Okay, you want to have these books because you claim they're for the LGBTQ community, right? Yeah. Okay, why not have on the books that have sexually explicit items in it, put them in the higher levels or at the very least put a parental advisory label yes. on the book, have yeah. it to where your parent needs to Excellent. sign for you to check out this book or these types Excellent. of books, then guess what? That's their parent. They sign. They're raising their Excellent. kids the way that they want to. Fine. Yeah. But yeah. my kid can't just stumble upon it if I don't want my kid to read it. See? That, but they don't I mean, think. They just push. Well, do, don't think they don't think that. They think that 100%. These people have some weird agenda. And I 100% agree with you. As parents, okay, you're going to be a parent one day for sure. That being said, as parents, we get to say what we want our children to see, what we want our children to learn, what we, what happens to the school system? How are they even having this crap in school systems, right? I keep my kid away from TikTok, the internet. He's allowed to play all those video games, but no, you're not going to be on that stuff. That's me as a parent, knowing that I don't want my child to see that. So if he goes to school and they're like letting everyone be on TikTok, that's undermining a parent. That's undermining my parenting skills and the way I want my child to be brought up. I really want to talk a little bit about that school board meeting. So that school board meeting was brought up because there was a girl that got beat up by a trans girl. Is, is, is that what happened? Yeah. And then, um, there, so there was what? a lot of things that the, the school board and the, the school district dropped the ball on. Like from what I heard that that child who's trans was bounced around yeah. from different schools, was in an alternative uh, school, got kicked out of alternative school, got put back in Pembroke. Pembroke out of the three middle schools here is kind of okay. like the nicer, softer one. Like there's not as many fights happening there as the other two. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Um, also the child was on, shouldn't have even been in the cafeteria that day because he was on lunch detention, but they let him go anyway. Wow. You see what I mean? Like got a lot of yep. special treatment. Special One privileges. That, yeah. That you didn't hear from the school board meeting. The little girls and their moms had talked to me after that meeting a couple times. Yeah. And the, the girls had said that they were letting him into the uh, locker rooms and bathrooms with them. But nobody knew, like none of the parents knew. They didn't put out anything about any bathroom policy. They were just doing it, right? Then they told me that he was taking pictures of them. And now these are 12 and 13 year old little girls, right? Wow. So he, he's taking pictures and videos of them changing in their gym locker room. God, and I said, little girl, did, because I don't want to put names, you know, as children. But of course, hey, little yeah. girl, did you try to tell a teacher or a guidance counselor yeah. something, right? Yeah, I yeah. tried to tell them. They said there's nothing they can do, and they didn't do anything about it. There's little girls afraid to go to the bathroom all day, Buck. It's sad. My God, dude. And, and, yeah, and um, so taking was, pictures. Okay, just go do taking that, and then pictures, we'll, we'll pick it up. Taking pictures and video of uh, the little girls getting changed in the gym locker room. They're afraid to go to the bathroom. They're afraid to go to gym. I heard a story. One mom would literally pick her kid up every uh, couple times a week when they had gym class for 45 yeah. minutes and drop her back off to school because she didn't want to go to the locker room with the guy. I, I, I'm speechless. It's like then you got to think, too. Like what? Now you got – you got, you know, videos of underage females at a very young age getting changed. What happens if that gets on the internet? Like now you're breaking into like sick shit, like child porn and like pedophiles. Like, so like it's not totally it's not right. No. First and off, like they don't. Dude, first off, okay, this is a boy. I don't care what anybody says. Shut up. This is a boy who wants to be a girl. Okay, whatever. Maybe the kid is dealing with some stuff going on. I get it. You know, I get it. If anyone gets it, I get it. But this is still a boy. This boy needs to be put in a special locker room, make a bathroom for this kid. Make, this kid cannot be mixed up with 11 and, and 10 and 11, 12 year old girls. Girls don't even understand what's going on. Number one, this is the beginning of girls going through puberty. A lot of things are happening. They're changing. They, how dare they put, how, oh my God, my God, I'm just actually shocked that this happened. They were letting him take pictures of these girls. Did they know it, the school board? I don't know if they did. I don't know. What? Like I've literally said it to them at meetings what? after that meeting. And and they're still trying to sweep everything under the rug. They're still trying to act like nothing's God. wrong. 
and no. they, they won't answer a question. Like the last time I went up there, I asked them, so what is your bathroom policy? Are yeah. you going to allow this? They wouldn't answer me. I said, wow. what is the qualifications of a student being trans? Because I said, you know, girls could get raped. Girls could get hurt. Or at, at the very least, let's say there's nothing malicious, right? And it's just like a young guy, maybe like a high school kid. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he's got a girlfriend, mm -hmm. you know, at high school age. They do what they do sometimes. But now it's like you're making it easy for them to do that. So, like, at the very least, you can have a spike in teen pregnancies just because of stupid policy. And you're, you know what I mean? Like, of it's course. just, I don't Dude, know. Dude, the thing that's so opinion. gross about it is that that guy who says he's trans could w very well not be trans and just saying it. But like you said to be a predator, you know, there's 13 year old boys yeah. that are completely out of it and he could totally yeah. just be doing that. I think that's what it is. I do not believe this kid is trans. I believe this kid is manipulating yeah. the system to get in there. And then, yep. so he is the one, so he's an aggressive, this kid is aggressive, right? It's, isn't that his background? Yeah. He comes from a very, that's why he went from school to school. Yeah. Cause he's had problems and I don't know if it like, I don't know if the the if the kid is if this is coming from his family, uh, the whole trans no. thing being pushed yeah. on him. Like yeah. at the end of the day, he's yeah. a child, so like I do That's feel right. for him to an extent. But he he needs to understand that you cannot do things like this. And I kind of think that not to his own a hundred percent his own fault because it is the fault of the school board, his parents yes. and the teachers yes. that gave him these privileges. But I think it kind yes. of made his head blow up. Like you can't touch me. You can't That's touch right. me. I could do what I wanted. That's and right. it's dangerous. It's a dangerous game to play. Oh, he's not an idiot. He totally knows that you could tell by his attitude because I think I saw some video. Somebody sent me some video of, 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 of him or something like that. And I, I just saw he had an attitude. Like, what are you going to do about it? I think I actually saw the beat down, I th I'm not sure if that was the same kid who beat. I don't know. Didn't he do it? Or maybe that was a different. Well, <laughs> there was another trans kid park, of so something. When I saw another trans kid the same age beating the crap out of a out of a girl at the school too, and the aggression is so insane. The girl got her ass beat. So I'm just really? like, what is happening like, here? No. <laughs> this should never happen. <laughs> so you're actually the perfect person to talk about this with because you know you started female and now you've been transitioning yeah. to male so, and yeah. you like you went to the gym you took the hormones you worked That's your right. ass off you worked out was That's it easy right. to get that strong physically was it you know and Dude, testosterone <laughs> yes yes <laughs> That's, like it's like, like I, I always joke with my wife and cause my wife's old fashioned too. She like, she agrees men and women are very different. And she has a saying, um, from Brazil and her mom says, you don't even hit a woman, even with a flower. And I agree with that. Like men should never hit women. It just is totally. like, it, it, even if a, if a female would punch me in the face, I'm not going to hit her. I'm just going to eat it and walk away. You know, right if she on. keeps hitting me, I'm going to give her a big hug. Until so yep. she can't breathe and say, okay, we're done by, I love you. And right I'm on. leaving. I'm not, Excellent. you know, you don't do that. But that's another thing too. I feel like society is like making it more acceptable for men to hit yes. women. Now with the trans yes. thing too, it's even worse. What, yeah. what happens in a situation where you got a teenage boy who is trans into a girl and then mm -hmm. an actual girl and they like the same guy and then yeah. they get into a fight over a guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. it's, the, especially the, the, in high school it, age man boys get oh my strong. god <laughs> they will slam uh, look i'm strong I'm, but i'm still biologically female i put on muscle mask but i'm still you could kick my ass man it doesn't matter you still grew up male you are male i am female that is i mean it's weird right because i totally look like a dude but you oh, are a dude i am a female you could kick my ass. I don't care how much steroids, because that's basically what I'm taking, testosterone and pumping up. But that kid yeah. is going through puberty. That trans girl at that school is still a biological boy. And the testosterone is going through his body right now. And it's getting him a little bit riled up because you can even see that aggression. Girls don't act that way. And I know how girls fight. They don't fight like that. And no. when you were at, so what, what happened with this situation? What, where does it stand today with the school board? So we're, 
uh, we're still going to meetings. More parents, like more people, are paying attention to them. Wow. They they wow. hired a uh, third party investigation, but the third party investigators are basically like solicitors for school boards. So oh it's not really. God. You know what I mean by that. Like, it's totally, but, but we've been calling it out, we've been giving it to them and letting people know they're still trying to play it off because they don't have elections this, this election cycle, they have it the next okay. year. Okay, so I think in their mind, their goal is people to forget and sweat. And you know, it's nope. crazy. One of the uh, school board members gave a speech at the graduation saying how we like, you know, you are the innovators, you are this, you are that, and we need. You know, your strength, your this, your your compassion. But then he's like, we need your vote. I'm like, <laughs> bro, we need your vote? Like, you that desperate? Because, like, these are all fresh 18-year-olds, and you're trying to sit here, like, vote for us? But, oh, that's sad, <laughs> man. I've never heard a, a school board speech like that. Like, yeah, it's, No, they are. Put your They're focus on the kids. It's not about your vote, bro. Like, That's right. Yeah. They've lost focus. And I think with a lot of this stuff, they've lost focus, right? And it's always about them, them, them. I mean, our whole political system is a complete mess. I, I just see that whole thing. It's not about us, the people. It's about the polit political parties and everyone. So the school board isn't about making sure these kids are safe. They get good education, right? That they're, they can move forward in the world. This is going to traumatize the heck out of these young people. Even the other boys are going to be traumatized by it, right? Because it's just, it's not normal. I don't care what anybody mm -hmm. says. What I did, dude, is not normal. Yeah, I did it because I have a disorder called gender dysphoria, but it's not normal. And they're trying to normalize it. And that is actually what's upsetting me. I would never want a kid to ever be in the position I'm in. They need to figure it out later on in life and maybe struggle. Now, all of a sudden, kids can't struggle. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> it is. And from my perspective, I agree with your point. Like it's, it, I look, I don't know how that feels. Like I, I know yeah. I'm a man. I know I love women. That's right. Like only now my wife, you know, but she's That's female right. biological, you know, born yep. that way. Uh, point is like, I can only imagine because I do, I like to try to think, you know, how it would feel to be in that situation. Yeah. Like it, it must be hard, man. Like it must be confusing sometimes. Yeah. It must, sometimes maybe you feel like you don't fit in with anyone mm -hmm. because like you know your That's foot's right. half in half out a door in a way and, yeah. and i say that respectfully but you I get know. you get my point i think totally um, and it why like you like you just said why would you want to you know all, like uh, artificially implant those emotions into That's a child's right. head that may never have to feel that type of pain Ever. or confusion you know? When did this start? Because when I was growing up, we didn't talk about this. I was a tomboy, right? Mm -hmm. And what's wrong with being a butch little girl? Like wants to play sports and all of those things. Now, all of a sudden, if you're that, you're trans. You see, that's why I know it's not real. They're planting the seed in these little kids' heads that they're trans. And that is sick to me because you are, you are giving a child a lifelong medical situation i have to still do the injections blah, 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 and then surgery why would you do that to a child why wouldn't you say to the kid okay let's figure it out let's get you some mental health care let's you know you're still a boy but maybe you're just kind of feminine who cares or you're a girl who's yeah they, they, they've backpedaled and now they like i really do feel on some level yanni that it's kind of a homophobic movement because some of these kids could just be gay kids and now they want to change them into boys and girls instead of maybe when they grow up, they're going to be gay. Maybe it's going to be a girl, a butch girl who grows up to be a lesbian. But instead, now she's a boy. <laughs> I'm like, <where> did... <laughs> no, it's a, I mean, that you're right. It's a, like my, both my sisters went through that tomboy phase, too, when they were like 11, 12, because, you That's know, they right. saw me and my stepbrothers. And but yep. then they grow up in their teen years. They're like, no, I want to be. Then they're very feminine. They're, they That's don't right. want to, you know, do crazy like jump off pikes and try to punch a guy yeah. and like all this crazy they want to just be women and that's good you know like if that's what that's you want right. to do that's what you do but it, right. i like my they both even told me that recently after this whole thing sparked they're like yeah yeah i'm like you know thank god they didn't push this shit when we were kids because maybe oh, i would have took medicine or hormones and like that's right so they would have they would have yeah, I, I have no doubt about about it my sisters too i have two sisters they're both they're both very masculine girls very rough and tough same thing they grew up to be total chicks who like dudes and married and have kids and you know I'm the, i get so Ooh. many emails from women who said i was a tomboy if it was today they would have transitioned me i'm like but i guess 
I mean, my question to you, you're not, I don't know if you'll be able to answer it, but what, why would they push something like this on little kids? There has to be a reason they're doing this. Do you, it, it, my thoughts, it could be, it, it could just be as simple as money. It could be politics. It, it could yeah. be overall yeah. confusion for the country. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like yeah. we're the country's being attacked on multiple levels, totally. like like through our society. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've been through a lot right. of stuff. I don't know if you ever talk politics on your show. Yeah, uh, I do. Yeah. So safe, safe uh, platform for me to, you know. 100 percent, my friend, you are safe here. I am. I'm registered Republican. Uh, Fine. Yeah. I, yeah. And but I'm not I'm not a. Uh, I'm not one of them people who is like, oh, like only Republicans have the way and I blindly, like, I don't blindly follow anybody. I, I can care. see that. If, it, yeah. if it's a Democrat who's got a good policy, y'all, I'm behind that one. If, it, if it's a Republican, y'all, I'm behind them. If it's neither, I'm going to say it's neither. And I, I just, you know, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of things, like even during COVID with uh, mm. like, um, I was one of the only places I didn't follow any of the mitigation. I didn't have okay. to, I read, I read, I read what happened. And I gave freedom a choice. And That's right. it's funny because in, before that, I was donating like hundreds of meals. We just opened six months before the pandemic. So I didn't have no money. I didn't have nothing. Yeah. I was just trying to help people. They were writing articles like not all uh, heroes wear capes, this and that. They were <laughs> aprons. And then like a couple months after that, when I opened back up and I say, hey, I'm not going to force people to wear a mask. It's choice. It's America. Yep. Then all of a sudden, I'm racist, I'm a devil, I'm the harbinger of death, I'm, you know, I don't care about people. They would, they would give me one-star fake reviews, they would come and order food and then ditch to try to screw with me. Like, all the same people who's calling me a hero just because I didn't <laughs> agree with what they were saying. And I was like, yo, I'm not gonna break, I don't break for shit. I, like, I'm an That's American right. man, I'm not doing anything to hurt nobody. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep going and and give freedom. I had so many kids right. at that time too come in here, and their parents were telling me, um, "This is the only place they could feel normal." It was almost like a therapy session for them to just come get some breakfast because they saw ser the servers no mask, the cooks no mask, yeah. people were yeah, and they felt like they were in a normal place. It made them feel good. Yeah. They made right. all these drawings and pictures for me and my wife, and like, right. you know, it's that's what like you're you're like that, you know. I'm like that. There's others like That's us right. out there. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, you're trans, you're straight, you're gay. Like That's our right. souls, we are we are the truthful people. We are the people who, you know, we're not we're not going for pushing agenda. We're just going to push fairness mm -hmm. and the truth. Like just you know, not one way or the other. That's right. And That's why they're trying think, to shut shut us. Well, they tried to shut you down because they know exactly what you're doing. That's why the That's so. That's how I know it's a fake thing. The whole thing is built on a fake foundation because why are they coming and giving you one star reviews and trying to rip your restaurant apart? If they actually really cared about the humanity that they're trying to pretend with the mask and all that, then they would never do something like that. They would just say, okay, Ooh. we're not cool with you doing that. I'm turning the other way and going the other way, right? I say it all the time. If you're not cool with me, I have no issues with that. Me and you need to be able to walk on the same street, but we can walk on opposite sides. We, are, yeah, we, we need to learn to share. It's so crazy, dude. So that's how what you just told me. I I already know it, but it's a fake agenda in this. You know, I'm a registered Democrat, but I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I cannot handle it anymore. I, don't blame I, you. I, mean, I grew up with Republican. My parents are my sisters are Republican. I have a Republican family, but on some level, I just had different values. But that doesn't mean that I dislike Republicans. We're supposed to be working yeah. together as Republicans and Democrats. We're not supposed to Absolutely. hate each other. Yeah, no. like what? Yeah. I've I've seen that happen on both sides before. Like even uh some younger Republicans, we were door knocking like a couple of years ago and yeah. They said something like we had a list and there was a house and I went to knock cuz I ran for council in my area, but I didn't I didn't win it. Um yeah. And he's like, "Oh, they're Democrats or, you know, they're not going to be." I was like, "Bro, <laughs> not everybody don't lump people like that. Like, oh, all like I got a lot of friends who are Democrats and they're some of the best people I know. Like, it's totally. the truth. 
and yeah so like we knock on the door more of the story they were probably the night like they they were like <laughs> oh we're registered the democrat we can't sign for you but like would you like a bottle of water? like they were so nice to us they were so yeah. polite and respectful and then i looked to the guy and i'm like you see man this is why it's not good to come from like a, a judgmental standpoint are there That's some right. asshole crazy democrats out there absolutely totally but Loopy. there's douchebag Republicans too out there. Like it, it you got to be fair, dude. You, we're in the yeah, middle. A lot in the middle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think we're you're a very middle ground Republican. I'm a middle ground Democrat. Those wing nuts are over there, dude. They're extremists. That's the problem. The extremists with anything extreme transgender ideology. When you start putting 13 year old trans girls in a school and let them go in the women's in the girls' locker room and the girls, I mean, as a parent. Uh-uh, dude, I'd be just like you. I would show up. I would lose my shit all over the place. And I, I just can't even believe that they're doing this to little kids. I mean, to me, again, just like you, I don't care what an adult does, dude. Go dig yourself a hole and sit in it all day. I really don't care. But what I do care is if me and you as adults don't stand up for these children, because we see it. It's it's logic. Your, your thinking is logical. Your thinking isn't racist or you know transphobic yeah. it's logical thinking and you know what buck i gotta say seriously just from watching your videos talking to you like i really enjoy our conversation to be honest you're, yeah, me you're too. a great guy and right you know you are more of a man than most men in america <laughs> I'm, I'm dead ass serious i'm dead right ass on. serious and like thank you any men watching this message man to man men to men Stand up yep. like we're doing, speak up like we're doing, find your balls, go out there and do something about yes. it because we can't just sit back and stay quiet because we're, okay, you want to, I could have lost my business. I could have yeah. taken heat so many times. And every time I said, I don't care because I'm trying to do what's right as a man. Right. And every time right. I end up getting more support, more love and more help because of it. And I will always keep doing that and keep fighting for people. Because wow. that's what men do. So if you're a man, right. whether biological or not, if you want to be a man, that's own right. it, step up. Being a man ain't easy. And it's, oh, wow, that dude. Because, that is like, you know. gee, what you just said is just like, that's, it's no, true. it's true. And also they're trying to say these weird things about men and women, especially white men. It's like, what? You guys are creating a divide beyond belief. And there's nothing wrong with men wanting to stand up for women. Okay. There's nothing wrong with men saying, this is how it is. It's like, that is how it is. I learned from men. I learned this behavior from my father, from guys like you, all the dudes that are around me. And I like guys like you because we need to have more men feeling that they can stand up without being called, uh, you know, a, a racist white man because you're, I'm like, what is happening? That's not how you end racism. That is not how you end racism. Right? They're creating more racism, dude. Well, technically, it's not even like in the definition of racism. Like it's not, a, you know, they, they just throw that shit out there. And that pisses yeah. me off too. Because me too. it's like, okay, now when you have a, a like a real serious, uh, you know, scenario where there is a man That's or a woman right. being racist or being homophobic or transphobic That's or right. anything like that. Now yep. people t as a whole take it less seriously because That's every right. little thing that bothers you is racist. Now nothing's racist and that's not right. You know what I'm saying? No, that's like, right. Yeah. I, that, that, I don't... They're doing that on purpose. That's why when you call a trans person like me transphobic, you've now just ruined the whole word. The word doesn't have any more power. Race is – words don't have power anymore because when you start calling people just racist because of the skin color that they are, that is insanity. That You're taking away from what real racism is. Racism yep. is the way people act, how people uh, do things. It has nothing to do with the color of our skin. That that I thought that that's like from 1950, <laughs> 2024. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like people in like the – and just from where I live and from my own personal perspective, I can't yeah. speak for the world, but like, I feel like in the later nineties and the earlier two thousands, people were just more chill with each other. They like, were, I don't know. I just feel like people like they were, and it's not, to me, it's not about accept. You don't have to accept me. I don't give a shit if you, anybody accepts me, but, and I don't have to accept you either, but we should have to have a mutual respect for all That's people. Right. Excellent. I don't have Excellent. to like, promote, endorse 
anything, but I can have a mutual respect. I cannot go out of my way to mess or bother somebody. I can leave them be. They do their thing. If they ain't hurting me, it's not my business. It's that simple. Right Why can't that's we go right. back to that? Like, I feel like that's how it was earlier in time. And now it's it just like was. everybody's got to, you know, be offended for something. Well, it's it's a plan, dude. I really believe it's a master plan to divide us all, to make us all angry, to divide our parties, to divide LGBT, all the free Palestine nonsense, queers for Palestine. Like they're literally supporting terrorism. That's, like what? that's weird to me. That one, dude, that's it, weird. It makes no sense. It's very weird. <laughs> and like, like, I feel like, bro, I could talk to you for hours because, like, I, I'm it's on insane. the same page as you. Like, I know, I know there is things going on too. I've been. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I should even say it here. Um, you can say it if I if I need to edit it out. I can. <laughs> Go uh, ahead. I was at I was at the Capitol on January sixth. Oh wow! I didn't do anything. Wow! I didn't do anything other right than on. holding the American right flag on. and chant freedom. And I got hit that's what you're allowed to do. Yeah, but I got hit with a flashbang grenade like in my ribs and kidney. Like it blew up inches away from my left side. It hurt like a month. And then. I, went, I ran back up the steps after a couple seconds to look for my buddy who was with me. And Whoa. I saw so much stuff there, man. Like, there wow. was, a, I, you know how you saw the, the visual of all those people, like, on the yes. scaffold and on the ledge? Not yes. one person had to be there to get up to that balcony. All you had to do was walk around. You walk right up a little hill, and you're right in the same spot. Because that's what I did to look for my friends. When I was there, I saw, like, five or six cops. They were looking in the opposite direction, about 10 to 15 feet behind the cops was a side yeah. door full of people. And they were just standing there like this, doing nothing, all with masks. And I started yelling at them because I was pissed, bro. Like, I was very mad. What? And I got like, pulled up my shirt and I'm like, this is what I get for uh, exercising my freedom of speech. I didn't do nothing to nobody, you f***ing asshole. Like, and then I was wow. like, I started to calm down because I was like, all right, there's... Five yep. or six of them, there's one of me, and they could fight yep. day up right now. So I'm just going to... That's right. And I got my friends, and I left, because, like, I... But I feel like that event was antagonized, because for most of the it time was. when I was there, there... Yeah, like, it, from somebody who was there, it really was. Yeah. And the, even the police started, like, throwing flashbangs at us when we weren't doing wow. that. And I watched them pepper spray wow. old men and women, like, in their 70s, throwing Do them at Do you think kids. that started... Do you think that started the more sort of uh violent like people and, snap a little bit yeah, yeah that's when people snapped they kicked our ass for a couple hours man and uh, i didn't know we, that we were even saying hands up don't shoot and there were still what tear gas smoke bombs pepper spray all that shit firing rubber bullets at people and wow. then after a couple hours of getting our asses kicked then it, something snapped and like one cop got pushed over and people went on the ledge and stuff. Yeah. But then, but yeah. then everybody was just standing yeah. there from them. It, it was a crazy. It's crazy so interesting. Thing. Thank, like, thank you for, for telling us that. Look, I don't care what anybody believes about that. You, you as an American, actually, I think people went there to exercise their right to protest, which we have the right to do that. How can these yeah. queer Palestine people all of a sudden they're queer for Palestine and free Palestine and Hamas, and they're getting all this treated as if it's okay to do that. Yet you go to where you're allowed to go to and have a pe Cause that what you weren't nothing. You guys were just all going there to protest. And then something happened. Something snapped. It was. Cause Buck, I swear to God, like if you were there that day, you would have yeah. had a great time. And I saw every yeah. like I saw blacks for Trump. I saw uh, yeah, of course. Chinese yeah. for Trump, like yeah. anti CCP stuff. I saw yeah. gays for Trump. Like Sure. Every type, like every flavor wow. you can imagine, bro, was there. Yes. It was beautiful. Everyone was having a great time. There was like yeah. merchandise. There was food. It was like a giant party or something. Like it was awesome. And yeah. then we all, we all heard. Uh, I, I never seen so many people get dead ass quiet as soon as Trump was speaking because I could hear him. Wow. It was hard to see him, but I could hear him very clear. And he never wow. called for anything bad. He said yeah. for us to march peacefully. And let our voices be heard. That's all he said. Wow. He never said attack. He never said do anything bad. He said just let them know how you feel peacefully, patriotically. And that's all most of us wanted to do. But there was right. like there was people in there, like weird people that you could of tell course. like they didn't fit in. Like 
a dude with a backpack. He like before anybody did, he climbs the scaffolds. He's pulling out zip ties and weird shit. He's like, come on, come on, and everyone's like ignoring him. Like, no, nah. some lady, some lady called me a pussy, bro, just because she's like <laughs> screaming, "Oh, get up there, get up and storm it!" And I look at her and I'm like, "Yo, we're not here for this. We're here to protest right peacefully." And Sweet. then she's like, "No, you're all pussies. You're not men." I'm like, "You're a psycho." Bye. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was weird. No, was, I believe you. Like, I... People dressed up in like uh, almost like full body armor. Like I thought I, I talked to four dudes for a minute from Virginia. I thought they were like National Guard or something. Cause they had like the yeah. vest on, the helmet. They weren't. Yeah. I saw people scale, bro, those rock walls like like fucking Spider-Man, yo. Like in like 20 seconds. Like no, no, no. Like I used to be very, very strong when I was in high school. I was putting up sure. two and a quarter for five sets of ten on all three benches. Wow! Like Ugh, I could climb walls gnarly. real good too. But like, yeah, you, you, you got to be trained. Very, like you got to be very physically right. fit and trained to scale a wall at the capacity that those men did. That wasn't yeah. normal people doing that. That was. You know, something else. That's what I want people to hear. There were instigators in that crowd. There were full on bad people who create, nope. I, you know, I, again, I'm, I'm going to equate it to the trans community. There's normal trans people like, like me around, and we don't want anything to do with those people. Then there's the instigators who are creating this horrible space. That's what I thought that from January 6th. I thought, well, why? Why can't people go in? That's the whole point of having a democracy. We're supposed to be able to do these things. Now, when it starts to get crazy and people start going nuts that that's not okay yeah. but i knew it i knew there were instigators there creating the unpeaceful and the more aggressive out of control and then you know what happens in a crowd dude you know what happens people just all of a sudden somebody instigates it it becomes a oh. go to a, a concert that happens when people go crazy in a concert and then it becomes yeah, a you're, shit show you're right me and my yeah. friend literally did that we got the whole crowd of thousands of people because they started trying to scare us by detonating yeah. the flashbangs above our heads. And then wow. naturally, you know, being the Greek man I am, pissed me off a bit, right? <laughs> and I knew they were just trying to scare us. So I, I, I just yeah. start, me and my buddy George, we just started yelling, you yeah. know, hold your ground. They're just trying to scare us. We have the right to be here. Hold your yeah. ground. Like, That's and right. then out of nowhere, hundreds of people or thousands are just like stomping their feet. Hold your gr I was like, damn, okay. Wow. Like it was See? crazy how easy See? it is to manipulate a crowd. Like there you I didn't try to manipulate a crowd. I just was like, no. you know, saying what I felt, but everybody That's right. It's crazy. That's right. And your, no, your assumptions it... are correct. They were I, messing I... with our phones too, Buck. They oh, were totally. uh, signal jamming wow. phones. And wow. They were cutting off people's Facebook lives. Wow. So much things. It was it was wow. It was a setup, wow. in my opinion. There wasn't no barricades I, I, either, by the way. There was a couple uh, bike racks, the same ones you see at middle school. <laughs> and when I was walking off, the worst thing I saw was like two of them tipped over. That was it. Like, I didn't. See, when I got there, I got there yeah. earlier too. Like there was nobody fighting cops. Yeah. Like all these pictures I saw on TV, I didn't yep. see none of that shit there in person. Wow. I think they did it, that on the other side of the building for show, but on the back where everybody actually was, right. that's where they were kicking our ass right. for hours. And men right. were helped. Like when one man got hit, he'd go down the steps. People would take care of him. Women would give water. Wow. Like when I got hit wow. too, there was a, a wow. random lady. She's like, Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance? She gave me water. She gave me wow. a place to sit down for a second. So like the ringing would stop. Yeah. And then I ran back up for my friend, but other guys too, like that got pepper sprayed. But every yeah. time one man went down, another man went back up to take his place and hold the ground and like protest. Wow. And, and wow. it was beautiful, like seeing people stick together like that, yeah. like on that side. And me and a couple yeah. other younger guys, we got the old yeah. people out of there. Because at one point the crowd, like I couldn't move for like 20 minutes. Oh, like that this. scares me. I don't like that. Yeah, me too. I don't like that either. No. And like. Me and some guys, we just started breaking a path, kind of pushing people a little bit, but to get wow. the old people out, like the seniors yeah. who were hurt. So of we course. got a bunch of them out. And then after we got them out, I just snuck out behind them because I'm like, but I let can't, me just say know, this. I, I, I could we should have a whole conversation about this because I'm like fascinated because you're you are really there. And that's what I hate about our media today. We're not giving fair coverage to everything. Right. Like, let's talk to the people that were actually really there. But that being said, I just want to 
say this one thing. I don't, I do not think it's okay that we, that it got broken into and that it got no, super messy. Either. And that is not, I don't, that was not your intention. Was it, that no. was not all your intention no, to break through? There was, yeah. there was some people there who like, I know an older guy who got arrested and okay. it's unfortunate he's old, but he deserved to get arrested because he was okay. one of those type of people who I think he hit a cop with like a flagpole or something. And it's like, bro, if you're, if you're there to do stupid shit like that, you deserve to get arrested. I'm sorry. Like, I I don't, I'm not afraid to talk about it. I even posted about it. I never took my post down on Facebook. And when people are like, oh, they're going to arrest you. I'm like, well, yo, show me footage of me breaking the law. And then they can arrest me because I didn't. That's right. I wasn't there for malicious intent. And I don't, I don't support people doing dumb things like that. Excellent. That, that's what I want people to see. There are people like you who are there exercising their freedom of speech and their right they're to afraid, protest. They're afraid. They're afraid to no, of course. People are scared like, to I talk hope, like everything. I hope that people who see this video and yeah. our conversation, I hope that yeah. it will give them the courage to speak out about it. Because if you didn't so. do nothing wrong, they that's can't arrest right. you. If you that's truly right. did it. That's speak right. up man like it, it is what up. it is that's right i always say it speak up no matter what like you're right and so we need to have voices like yours who say look i was there man i could tell you that's not how it went down it went down because we have bad players and then these things are being instigated and there's a whole big story there that's being people are being misled about it right so the bad players yeah. definitely deserve to be arrested i have no doubt you can't go in there and start trashing no, you know no, our no. capital and all that that's not cool that i won't i won't tolerate that but what i will to- tolerate is going and saying no i nope i'm not cool with this our government is a mess like yep totally dude so and i agree i'm, I'm on the same page as you 100 percent. seriously it's no that's what I, you know. we just became friends <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. within an hour dude we're like buddies that's so cool if you're ever in pennsylvania man you gotta let me know like, i'm coming dude <laughs> I don't care, It'll be... like, be around philadelphia or right on or like let me know right i will meet you we will hang out like right on seriously you're you're cool you're really cool it, it's, so, it's been a pleasure so talking to you and like thank you friend you know thank you thank you i, I so respect much. you i respect what you do and like i said thank you're you. more of a man than a lot of men out here <laughs> you're brave like that's what thank i respect you. about you you are very brave and like god you, bless friend. you for doing what you do how sad though isn't it it's sad that i have to be brave to speak and same with you it's sad that we are have to be brave in this country now where we're not allowed to really speak the, I'm not speaking my truth, dude. I'm speaking the truth. And yeah. the truth remains men and women, <laughs> boys and girls. Yeah. And then, and then you got... Biology, <laughs> they're trying to tell. Yeah. And they're teaching that to kids. Oh, God. Anyway, thank you, friend. Right. You're amazing. I, I This interview one, is brilliant. Yeah. One more quick thing, uh, just to back up your point again. Like, yeah. That's how I felt when, when I saw the... Like, Cause I didn't know it was going viral. People sent it to me. I, uh, know. I don't have Twitter like that. Yeah. And, um, wow. I'll, I thought it was, I'm going to be honest. I thought it was the dumbest shit that I went viral. <laughs> Cause in my head, I'm like, all I did was speak <laughs> common sense. All I did was just say the damn totally. truth. Like why do I of all people deserve to go viral for that shit? Like, I yeah. feel like everybody feels this way. Yeah. Why is it such a big, big deal that I said it? You know what I mean? I guess it is, but like I, it I is. Feel like it was. I, no, I but that's like even better. Thing. No, but that's even more how more powerful it is because the fact that you just did it from your own moral compass and your own integrity, dude. Because that's what you did. It se- speaks volumes to a person like you, and no doubt you gave other people the courage to start speaking up, and hopefully in those in those stupid school board fake ass school board meetings where they're yeah. not there for the children they're there for the votes and that's what we need to see we need to see the bigger picture here these school boards i live in california dude want to talk about a mess oh it's so disgusting yeah, yeah. It, they're teaching these kids lgbt at four and five like it's insane dude, <laughs> like, dude they don't even know what the hell that is <laughs> Like they're over here playing with action figures and shit, and like you know, boys or girls have cooties and all that. Stuff. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Dude, next oh thing I'm gonna be giving God. them little toys that you can interchange the the genitals. 
Like, what's happening? Oh, dude, we like these two. Yeah, you're like in the Happy Meals and shit at McDonald's. Like, <laughs> and the and Happy Meals. The, the tranny, <laughs> the, the tranny yeah. meal. Like, what's happening? <laughs> Excellent. Right on, dude. Okay, everybody, like, subscribe. Really, this is a brilliant interview. And I, I really no. much value your time, Yanni. Thank you so much. And I'll, I'll see you guys bro. on Wednesday on the live. Thanks for joining us today.